All right, Grace and Kirk. Let's take a look uh, real quick, just touching on a few things that we talked about during our last session. I'm going to focus on us staying down in our swing. And you, what I would like for you to do, and I know that in this, in these swings you were taking here, you were trying really hard to do some things we were talking about. But what you end up doing is you you end up going real methodical through your swing. And so what what I mean by that is you're not really getting after the swing completely. And I think if we open that up a little bit in the sense of let's just really let it fly within what we're trying to work on, I think it's going to help you be able to hit some of these these keys that we've been talking about. Right here, what I want you to watch is I want you to, this is Pete Alonzo, we're going to look at his swing real quick, but I want you to watch a couple of things, how he stays down through his swing, okay, and also how his bat finishes after his contact, okay, and it's not about making contact out front and then finishing with a long looping swing, it's about making contact near that front foot and then having that bat continue through our swing and not slow down, not get off the gas pedal, okay? So let's real quick, let's take a look at Alonzo's swing. Yours is going to move too, but I'm just going to fast forward on yours, okay? So just watch, watch Alonzo here. Look at that finish, how he continues to go all the way through and he's down in his swing, okay? Now let me back up again. You see where his contact happens? Next frame. Okay, that's right even with his front foot. But if we watch it kind of from, from the start, it looks as if the contact happens further out front, like out in here, and then we finish out there. That contact, in order for us to make our contact here, back it up a little bit, we can't start our swing early. Because if we do, we're going to slow down to, to try to let that ball get closer to our front foot. We have to start the swing on time so that I can make an aggressive move all the way through to my contact without slowing down. Okay? Now let's just watch your swing here. Don't pay attention to Alonzo over here on the right. Let's just watch your swing. Let me make you a little bit bigger here. Okay. That was full speed. That swing right there was full speed. It almost looks like it's it slowed down a little bit. No, it's it's full speed. Okay. There's good mechanics in it, but it's it's uh, it's full speed, but it almost looks slow-mo, okay? Now you can see the difference here of where our contact happens versus with Alonzo. There we go. Okay, this is, this right here is what leads to a lot of these, these mistakes that you're making as far as standing up in your swing, getting your weight to your front side, and not letting your swing finish because inadvertently you're focusing on trying to get your contact out front when in actuality it happens pretty much even with our front foot it's pretty crazy for you let me back it up here okay I'm gonna draw a different colored circle okay let me not go with red okay you basically need to let this ball get into here. Now let's take you through your swing. Okay, this is where your power would be. Okay, but if, if you see your head in relationship with your front foot, let me make you a little bit bigger. Draw another line here. Here's your front foot, and your head is almost to it. Look at Alonzo. Look at the difference in where his, how far back his head is from his front foot. Okay, You're, if I was to draw a line on yours, it's very short. Okay, but if your head was more back in here, draw a circle there. 
If your head was here, that would be much better. Okay. I know, a lot of circles right here, right? Let me undo these as I go. Okay. So you get going forward to your contact there. The swing looked great. Okay. But I, if we can get your head back, back in here, so that if this, if that head, let me undo, if this head can stay pretty much right here and we can keep this nice triangle down, we're, you're going to be in good position. Your head's going to lower a little bit um, as you take your swing, like if I back, but this video with Alonzo doesn't start as he's taken his stride. He's kind of already taken it. Okay. But look at that base. Look at that wide base that he has. That makes it a lot easier for us to let the ball get deep. The more narrow our feet are, the harder it is to let that ball get deep into the zone. But if we take a look at his head, once that front foot hits the ground and that heel hits the ground there, let me put a circle around his head. Watch where that head's, that head's going to move forward a little bit, but it's going to stay in that circle. Boom, into his contact. Okay, now let me back you up right when your heel hits the ground. And then let's watch your head. So your head goes forward and down around it. And then you stand up through the end of your swing. And when we stop, and so this that takes me to the next part. We're going to work on these things, uh, you know, as we as we go along this next week. Let me clear these off. Remember we talked about staying down in our swing? Okay, so... I'm just going to put just a small box around you here. I'm going to put a small box once his front foot hits the ground. Back him up just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to put this box around Alonzo. Okay, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to box in his head. I'm going to box in your head. Right. And let's watch what happens for you. Okay. My camera was moving a little bit as I did this, but you see the movement that that head's making within that box. It drops down from our, from the top, from that top line. It's just moving all over inside that thing where we look at Alonzo, very quiet. The head doesn't go anywhere. The body moves around underneath our still head. And look at that base. Look at his, his bottom half here. This right here is awesome. See that nice, wide, strong base? And yours end up being real close here? We want that strong, powerful base. That way, at contact, that back side is planted. Okay, back side's planted a little bit here. Not too bad, but you don't have you're not supporting any weight on that back leg right now. Alonzo, as he gets into this, he is going to be supporting a lot of weight with that back leg, and that's where we want to get you in this position. Let me back Alonzo up a little bit, right to contact. Okay, this is a position I want to start to get you in at contact. Okay, your the swing. Let's let's just reset and let's just look at your swing again. It looks pretty solid, right? It's just everything has to go so slow. You start so early, and then we have to slow down so we don't end up swinging too early. Okay. And it doesn't look like it's in slow-mo. Now let's look at Alonzo's swing again real quick. Front foot lands. Nice wide base. The back side delivers the power, and we finish all the way through. All right, we're going to keep working on this. All right, great job, buddy. We'll see you next week.